What's going on guys? Pack Daddy here bringing you another episode of Sunday Slumming. I know it's been about a week and a half since I uploaded, but life happens. Can't really do much about that, but we have completed the Florida Panthers collection in the background. I'm excited to get back to these videos. We're getting into the high divisions on both of the series that are going on right now. The Sunday Slumming and the Give and Take should be a lot of fun. Should be a lot of good, interesting, very fun games here in the future. But what Sunday Slumming is, if you guys are not aware, is I'm not spending a single dime on packs or buying pucks, apparently people do that. But uh, all we're doing is playing the market, doing collections, and buying off the auction house. The players that we need, and we have not gotten anything so far. Got a few Columbus boys right there. That's gonna help out when we complete the Columbus collection. But I'm really looking for a solid player, and Azim Kadri's not bad. He's gonna find his way onto the team, as you'll see here in a bit. One more pack here, and we are going to get absolutely nothing. The Winnipeg Jets. That could help if someone decides to drive up the price on those logos. People do that a lot. Bunch of bastards. Daniel Zubras in the final pack, and that is not going to help us at all. We got a solid defensive core. If you can see behind me, we got Vasilevsky in that. He's been solid for us. But I love how we got Tyre Myers. Zidane Char, just a bunch of big hitters. I love laying the hits with those guys. And then we got a solid offensive core as well. A bunch of speedsters, a solid first line. And then we got a team of the week. Letera from one of the early packs. And Jonathan Druin has been playing lights out, so we're going to keep him in there for a few more games at least. We got six games left to win the division title. And we got Camilleri coming down the side. Anderson is going to stop him, but he's going to get aggressive, throw the puck out, and Camilleri is going to fake the cross crease. I love this right here. Delay it, find Palat wide open. He's going to bury it. That was such a sweet goal. Love getting stuff like that. Then we got Goudreau coming down the right side, and water bottle. It was nice knowing you, but you got to go. Goudreau's here, and he's going to put this one top cheese on you. We're going up 2-0, 10 minutes into the first, and his Anderson is not feeling it right now. He's going to watch this. He can't believe it. What a snipe Goudreau just had. He likes to block that cross crease, but sometimes you just got to throw it short side. You don't know what is going to happen off of the following face off right here. We got Nazim Kadri, just recent collection pickup. He's a solid dude. I like having him on my team. Yakapavs, Yakapav <laughs> is going to come down. He's going to work with it a little bit. He's going to get stripped, but then he's going to throw it. It's going to find its way in the back of the net. And this guy's pissed. I thought he's quitting right here, but he's going to stick around. He's going to tough it out. Late in the first period, we have a little bit of misfortune right here. Tyler Myers is going to get stripped of the puck, and then just a bunch of puck physics happens. They're going to put it past Vasilevsky with few seconds left to go in the first period. Just my luck. I mean, if Pittsburgh didn't make it worse enough, these guys certainly do. And then he's going to put that one within one goal. Four minutes left in the third period. I'm going to take a lot of penalties, so I'm going to call a timeout. Give those guys a little extra boost. Give those guys the little strength they need to start making some plays. we got Camilleri right here taking the defensive zone face off. He is going to win the puck. Char is going to take it around behind the net. Feed it out to Camilleri, and he's busting up the inside. Can't stop Camilleri. 88 speed. He's pretty good. He's pretty fast, and he's putting it top shelf right over Anderson. And we are sealing this game off with a 4-2 victory little bit of a uh, misfortune here and he's gonna trip Zidane Char. he was gone he knew it and then he quits with nine seconds left I mean why do these people quit like this it's absolutely ridiculous that you would quit forfeit about a thousand pucks just ridiculous but I love this guy right here he either wins or he quits he doesn't have a loss on his rap sheet I think that was hilarious just absolutely oh absolutely unreal but we are completing now the Toronto collection Hopefully we can get more players for our team. Six packs here. I can't wait till we get to the bigger collections so that we can start getting more and more packs. I think like Calgary has 10 or 11 packs. It's pretty crazy being that it's one of the bottom tier teams and one of the simplest to complete. We got Verbata in that first pack. Good old Redeem. He's going to find his way onto the team for sure. The second pack, we are getting nothing in that one. Still all these players I like to keep because makes collections easier to do third pack in we are going to get Oli Mata right there Andre Schuster he helped us out huge early in this series he has an absolute cannon for a shot I kind of miss him on the team oh well that's in the past next pack we are going to get Tyler Bozak in a crap ton of jerseys holy cow 
Next pack in, we are hoping for a good player. We need a superstar on the team. We do not have one yet. And we are going to get Eric Johnson and Gary Busey right there. Nice, rare gold contract. That's 28 games for us. Last pack. Hopefully, we can get somebody good in this one. We're starved. We got Nell Yakupov and Milan Lucic. I don't know if Lucic is going to find his way onto the team. He's slow, can't shoot, has terrible hands. He can lay the hit, though. But we got defense who can do that for us. Yakupov is solid. He's going to find his way onto the team as well we're gonna send those guys to the collection and we don't really keep boosts here so we throw those guys out as i said before verbata is gonna find his way onto the team and yakupov is gonna replace the yakupov that we had to buy so fortunately for us we get to put the other yakupov onto the auction house get some coins for him and i usually get some pretty good players right here you're gonna see me pick up max domi i wanted to try him out palat is gonna be taking a seat on the B-League team, Panarin, I'm going to place a bit of a 1,000 pucks. Cool 1,000 pucks. Hopefully, we can pick him up. That would be awesome. But we got the Red Light Boys here for Game 2 of our Season 6. So the first highlight of the night is going to come from old Zdeno Char, and he's going to dangle around the defenseman, take it in, dangle again around Lindholm, put it top shelf over Mason. The goalie's like, yo, is that Mason? Letera puts his hand through the face of Zdeno. Mason's in disbelief right there. Tesla coils are popping off. Thunderbug is losing his mind. Everyone's like, yo, Zidano, didn't know you could move like that. I thought I had this check lined up right here, but boy, Chuck's going to get a lucky bounce. It's going to flutter right into the air. Down past Vasilevsky and into the net. It is a one-to-one -one game. Domi's going to come down. Recent pickup, and he's going to put a greaser right past Mason. But, hey, we're going to take it. That's about halfway through the second period. We got that lead. Kadri comes down. His defenseman bites. We're putting it far side around Mason. Going up three to one in this game and then we got Jack Johnson coming down the inside and then does a kind of a weird toe hook snipe nonetheless it goes right over the shoulder of Mason and he has had enough of this game good victory by us and we are just going to straight up buy Panarin could not get that bid to go through sometimes it happens like that you try to make a bid just doesn't work so you're like screw it I'll spend the extra 200 bucks I'll buy him. We're going to switch him out with Duclair right now. And since we got so many of those gold contracts from that get back in the game, we can easily throw a contract on Panarin right now. We are good to go. Going down to beautiful Tampa, Florida for the next game. Hopefully we can dominate right here. The play was almost over, but Camilleri is going to find the open Domi. He's going to throw it in one to nothing. Domi has been on fire for us recently. Miller pissed off right there. Domi again comes down, and he's going to get another squeaker. Domi's the grease ball right here. He loves getting those greasy ones, those grungy ones, that puck luck right there. It's going to happen. And then we got some weird puck luck of his own right here. He's going to throw it across. Put it past Vasilevs Vasilevsky. I thought I had that one, but sometimes the puck has other things in mind. It has an agenda of its own, and he wants to make that. Yo, is that Ken Hitchcock right there? I think it was. The Max Domi right here. Putting it away. That is number three on the night. Whoever told me to pick up Max Domi, thank you, thank you, thank you. We got to celebrate this one. We can't we can't just skip the replay on here. We got to double watch it. The hats come flying down. Congrats, Max Domi. First hat trick on the team, second game in. That's unreal. Hey, what do, what do they do with those hats? I'm just curious. I never knew it. Uh, but that is going to be the end of that game. Max Domi is going to win that one for us. The only three goals of the game. And we are three for three. Three out of six so far in this season. Max Domi, number one star of the game. What else would it be? Unreal performance by him. Thank you to whoever suggested that once again. We are getting into the next game. And we got ourselves a position locker in this game. And he was pretty pissed off the whole game. <laughs> Just, you know, position lockers are very uncharacteristically you know, not skilled at the game. And he's going to let me turn it over. We got Verbata right there. Doing the simple deke going short side on him. Domi, once again, the playmaker of the team coming down. Kuznetsov finding Kucherov. We're getting this one two to nothing. Now, this next thing that happens right here was absolutely hilarious. So he has Zuccarello. I have Chara. Obviously, I'm going to try and crunch him. He's going to go off sides, throw it on net, take the slapper, fight the initiate. I'm like, Zuccarello, Chara? Yeah, let's do this. So I initiate the fight, and then he lets his computer take over. David Backus takes over, and I'm going to punch him once, and he's going to take me down. I thought that was absolutely hilarious. What a sneaky move by him. And then watch the following face-off right here. We're getting ready to face off and everything, you know, after the fight. I get the message from him. 
<laughs> you deserve it, you freaking cheater. <laughs> I love it. I'm like, this guy's position locking, you know. Can't even score a goal in this entire game. He's calling me a cheater. And he's got a team stacked to the top. Stacked to the top with legends. He had flash forward cards. He had high base cards. I mean, can't even score a goal on me. Thought that was hilarious. But hey, I mean, whatever floats your boat. Whatever helps you sleep at night, kid. We are getting that W. And we are going 4-0 in this game. I mean, it's kind of hard to win the game when I almost sextuple you in time on attack. I mean, those eight shots were probably all the AI too. And he has lost more games than he has won. But I mean, what are you going to do, man? I mean, if everyone you play cheats. And I mean, you shouldn't have won that game because I'm a cheater. Anywho, we're going to leave that in the past. We're going to pick up Shane Doan right here, complete the Arizona collection. We're going to try and get some good players to build our team because we really can't use any pucks because we are too busy buying players for collections, not wanting to waste any bit of coin. We're going to get old Turbo Teravinen in the first pack. In the second pack, hopefully we're going to get somebody else that is very, very good. We're going to get De Gipsy right there and Eric Condra. Three packs left. Three legends I'm seeing in these packs. Hopefully we can make that one happen. That would be absolutely fantastic. We're going to pick up Matt Cullen right there. Not bad. He's not going to find his way onto our team though. Two packs left. Come on. We're looking for that superstar. We're looking for that all-star to help our team out. Oh, we're going to get Reimer in that one. That's not going to do it for us. Come on, last pack. Hopefully, we can get somebody good in here. Tyler Kennedy and Jonas Hiller. Jonas Hiller might find way as a backup later in the season, but it's not going to be now. Vasilevsky is playing hot, and we are going down to beautiful Montreal. It's a beautiful time for a Max Domi greasy goal right here once again. This kid's a grease factory. I mean, holy cow. How many goals has he scored have been just absolute puck luck? Probably half of them, I would say. Nonetheless, so we got Goudreau coming in. This back behind the back pass to Verbata. Absolutely beautiful. That's a stuff of legends right there. I love seeing that one. Then we got Galchenyuk right here. Just pucks bouncing around everywhere. And it's going to find the back of the net. I mean, hey, I'll take it any day of the week. But we are polishing this game off with a solid score of 3-0. A good win here in Division 6. We are getting all of these coin rewards for winning all of these amazing games. I mean, you get them if you lose the games too, but it's more sweet when you got that nice green win up at the top. We are advancing to Division 5. Got one game left for the Division 6 title. We got five games to do it. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but it's highly probable at this point. Good looking three stars right there. Galchenyuk, Jones, and Vasilevsky. And we are finally picking up Derek Stefan. I've been looking for the last few games for him. I know one of you guys said in the comment section, pick him up. So we're going to give him a shot. We're going to put him in at line three with Domi and Verbata. That is a dangerous line right there. And we are going into the Division Six title game right here. And he's going to get an early goal. Couture is going to fly across and pick up that one time in front. And put it top corner over Vasilevsky. And I, I screw up right here. I <laughs> just gave it right back to him. That was my bad. I don't usually do that. That's very uncharacteristic of my play style, but eh, it happens. Kucherov, though, is going to get us back in the game early in the second period. Going to go top shelf over his goaltender. And then we got Domi to Stefan right here. Stefan's going to find his way in, circle around, and then put it easy. Top corner, short side over his goaltender, Varlamov. And we are got this game tied up 2-2. Two to two. Char comes down, tries to take across, but he's so slow. I couldn't get my stick out there, poke it up, even though it's like 800 feet long. He's going up 3-2. to two. Pickles, though, with the good check right here. Feeding it back to Stefan right here. Recent pickup. He thinks I'm going wide. No, I'm just going straight in. And we are going 5-hole on Varlamov. 3-3 three to three game. It's an exciting one. End of the second period. Late in the second period, again, we got Kucherov coming across, finding the open Goudreau. And we are getting the lead in this game, 4-3. to three. Exciting, exciting game right here. And then we're going to bust down with Galchenyuk right here. And he is going to trip me up. And, yep, that's a penalty shot right there. You've seen it for days. If you watch the replay, though, it's kind of a light goal. I mean, it looks like he just love tapped my skate and I fell. I was, like, already in front of the goal. Whatever, we'll take it. And we're going to do my stride deke. Top corner, that has been so hot recently. I love trying up different things whenever I come into these. And, oh, that is just deadly. Just fakes the heck out of him. But then we got six seconds left. Haglund's like, yo, I'm not done with this play. Give me that puck back. 
and he finds an open Kadri, and Kadri's gonna roof it with 1.3 seconds left to go in the game. Six goals for that Division Six title win. I like it, I like the sound of that. So we are going to polish this one off. As I said before, we are winning the Division. Promoted to Division 5, got that nice coin bonus for winning the Division title. I wish this was the Give and Take series, then we can open up a player premium pack or something of those sorts for the team. Unfortunately, we cannot do that. But we're going to do a bit of house cleaning right now. I'm going to take away some of the people that I feel just aren't contributing enough. We're going to take away Laterra. We're going to take out Panarin. And then we are also going to take up Yakupov. I just haven't really heard much from him on these teams. He hasn't really been on the highlights. So we're going to remove these guys from the lineup. Look for their replacements in the coming season. But that is going to do it for this episode of Sunday Slimming, guys. If you got someone in mind you want me to pick up, let me know in the comment section. But please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And until next time, guys, this is Pack Daddy. I'm out.